I'm Amanda Jane Clarkson and this is G'day Gorgeous, a lifestyle channel for women who dare to live their dreams and empower their lives in all seven areas. These seven areas include your love life, your relationships, money, your vocation, happiness, health and personal growth. And if you're a woman and you crave more from life and you'd love to take back control, have more confidence, more clarity, more certainty around your future, then hit the subscribe button right now and ring the bell so that you'll be notified each and every week when I post these empowering videos that will help you create the life by design and live the dreams that I know you have within you. Today's special message that I want to share with you. I hope you have your journal. Um, I always have my journal with me because writing has a magical power about it and writing out your goals and your dreams help you move closer to making the steps that will help you live your life by design, not default and certainly not desperation. And today I want to share with you my top three tips on how to regain your confidence. And from my experience, and my results, I understand what it's like to lose your confidence. Lose your confidence through broken relationships, breakups with your lover. I understand what it's like to lose your confidence when you've been bullied at school or lost that job that you really wanted or didn't get the job that you hoped you'd get or you know something didn't work out financially for you or your health isn't you know up to scratch and over time you can really lose your self-confidence which which keeps you feeling trapped in a life that you don't love living and stops you from being the very best version of you. And so today I understand what that feels like and this is why I want to share with you top three, my top three tips, but over time, through these videos, if you subscribe, I'll be sharing a lot more on self-confidence because as a young woman growing up in Tasmania, which is a little state underneath Australia, I don't know where you're watching this video from, I understand what it's like to be the girl at school that nobody liked. I wasn't pretty enough. I wasn't smart enough. I certainly wasn't popular. And then from there, growing up, I had 33 different jobs. I was never happy in myself or the jobs that I had and I really bumbled through the first 30 years of my life and because of my lack of confidence it really created um, an image that I didn't love when I looked in the mirror. I had low self-esteem and I never felt worthy or good enough uh, for anybody let alone myself. But as time went on and I learned to empower myself in all seven areas my life really started to turn around and today I want to share with you where confidence comes from and if you've lost your confidence in any way in any of those areas of your life, these three tips that I'm about to share with you, I promise will absolutely head you in the right direction and pull your pull you out of that slumber that you're in so that you can shine from the inside out and go out there and live those hopes and dreams that I know you have. And so from my experience and my my results in life. I understand the very first step in regaining your confidence if you've lost it in any way, shape or form is to first learn to love yourself. In other words, begin where you are. Now, I hope you've got your journal gorgeous. Um, I don't know if you've got one like I've got or something to write on, but these notes, I want you to write these steps down because as I said a moment ago, writing has a magical power about it. And it certainly starts with self love and having clarity and most of us especially if you're a woman I understand that sometimes when we look in the mirror we truly don't love what stares back from the mirror and we certainly don't love our body who we've become our life all sorts of reasons why we don't love ourselves. however unless you learn to love yourself first you will never gain the confidence and the clarity and the certainty that you hope to achieve in life. And so here's what I did that literally turned my life around and helped me blossom into who I've become today, where I am more confident. I am living my life by design. I'm living all of my hopes and my dreams and you can too. 
So one of my mentors taught me how to do this, to write down at least 200 things that you absolutely love about yourself. Now, I know that is easier said than done and maybe you're balking right now and probably thinking, oh my God, Amanda, I can't even think of 10 or 20 or 50 things I love about myself. How do I know you're probably thinking that? Because that was how I felt. And I coach so many women who say to me, Amanda, that is a really hard exercise to do. I don't really love that much about myself. And I go, I understand. And if you're feeling the same way, I understand. I empathize with you. However, this exercise is so worth pushing through and finding and writing down in your special journal. Nobody has to see it. Don't share it with anybody else. But 200 things or even 50, start with 50 that you love about yourself. Now, that again is something that takes time and even if you begin with writing five or ten things down each and every day over time you will notice that your confidence starts to build from within all of a sudden when you look in the mirror you're not so hard on yourself and if you're anything like me i used to have shocking self-toxic talk and i was really mean to myself i'd say things to myself that i would never say to another friend or a, a child or anybody else and yet i was speaking to myself in a way that was so disempowering that was making my my confidence um, you know go to an all-time low I mean does any of this relate to you have you ever been in that situation as well I totally understand how that feels so if you can't come up with 200 gorgeous come up with 50 but just start where you are and learn to accept where you are your past has nothing to do with your future and if you hold on to your past if it's not serving you then you're going to be stuck on this rat wheel of life Life, not being able to move forward and that's a whole nother um, story and another video that I'll create later on but today I just want you to focus on you and learn to love you for who you are it doesn't matter your past your age your background anything it's who you are now you know the thing is I believe in you I believe in your dreams you don't need fixing, you just need to gain more clarity, more confidence and more certainty about who you are and where you're going. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, please write this down. Define and describe in detail all of your unique talents and gifts that you love about yourself and others love about you. Now this one is a fun one and maybe like I was you're struggling with this as well. I used to think that I was good for nothing. I actually failed everything at school. I was told by my teachers I was dumb and that I would amount to nothing much and so when I left school and I left home at the age of 16 I didn't feel worthy of a fantastic life that I wanted to live. I didn't feel worthy and confident that I could turn my dreams into my reality but through empowering myself taking these simple steps that I'm sharing with you simple but not easy I understand my life did turn around and now I live my dreams every single day I love what I do and do what I love and if you want the same outcome these are the steps that I took I defined and wrote out in detail all the things that I knew in my heart not what my teachers thought not what my friends or society or anybody else thought about me but what I knew in my heart and so I'm asking you what are your special talents and gifts perhaps you're fabulous at cooking being a wonderful parent you might be a fabulous athlete great at gardening um, you might be an awesome singer a dancer a teacher a healer an amazing friend a fabulous listener creative you might be a top surfer I wrote these down just to give me a little hint and maybe even a writer I mean only you know what you're wonderful at and you know what we are all born with unique gifts and talents which actually are our purpose in life and again that's a whole nother video coming up because you might have heard you know find your purpose and live your purpose and some people get really stuck on that one thing but I can assure you from my own uh, from my own journey from my experience and my results 
is that your purpose is born from your natural gifts and your talents. So what are you great at? What do you love getting up and doing every single day that nobody has to tap you on the shoulder to do or cajole you to get out of bed and jump into? You know what that is. So write those things down, define and describe all of those gifts and talents in detail. And the one thing that I want you to take note of when you're doing that is how you feel inside. I can almost guarantee that you'll start to feel uplifted. You'll start to have a smile on your face. You'll start to feel good about yourself. Instead of beating yourself up like I used to, always being down on myself, always picking myself to pieces. When I did these exercises, I started to feel good about myself and I started to realize that, hey, I'm not dumb and hey, I can amount to more than nothing in life. I have so many gifts and talents and things that I love doing and maybe I can share those gifts and talents with others out there who also love what I'm doing. Do you see where this is going? And this is all coming back to self-love. That's where confidence comes from. I can promise you that is first of all self-love and learning how to let go of past conditions or your past if it's no longer serving you. Then tip number three, I love it. This is one thing that I would really love you to do and really think about it and enjoy it. And in fact, in one of my journals, I have my perfect day. So at the top of your journal, pick a page, maybe pick a nice blank page and write at the top of your journal, my perfect day. Now, what I want you to do when you've got time, if you can start this this week or today, it would be wonderful. I'm going to give you a little homework step in a moment. The seven areas of your life talking about your love, your health, your relationships, money, vocation, personal growth and happiness. Taking those seven areas, start to write out what your perfect day would look like in every way imaginable. Again, this is not something I want you to do with a partner, any friends, your family, your kids, work colleagues, nobody except you. You are the most important and worthwhile person on the planet. This is about you and me right now helping you create and live your perfect life, a life that you cannot wait to jump into and live every single day for the rest of your life. So write out in absolute detail in your journal what your life looks like. Now, I want you to describe it. What does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it sound like? What does it smell like? And how does it, and you can even use words and senses like touch, anything you want. But the more you get into detail about your perfect day, the more you become inspired and enthusiastic about taking the action steps that will allow you to live your life by design. Exactly like my journal says, my life by design. And so that's the first three steps and they are the best steps, the most potent, empowering, powerful steps I can share with you that will literally Turn a life of misery, a life where you don't feel confident, a life where you don't love who you see in the mirror to being able to love life and live life to the absolute fullest each and every day because you deserve it, gorgeous. So I hope you wrote those top three tips down. I call them my confidence boosters and I promise you this will start to turn a life of frustration into an absolute fabulous life. Last but not least, on that step three, then write down what is just one step that you can take today that will take you one step closer to living the dream life by design that I know you have inside of your heart and a life that you truly deserve living. Because I always say my life by design, one step at a time, one day at a time. So gorgeous, I hope you found this video inspiring. I hope you're feeling enthusiastic and excited to jump in and do this very, very powerful exercise that I shared with you today. And again, if you found this 
awesome this video awesome please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so that you'll be notified each and every week when I bring you out a new empowering video and please share this video with your friends and your family and those that you love and care about who you know would love to go from feeling frustrated to feeling fabulous in all seven areas of their life I'm Amanda Jane and I look forward to seeing you next week in our next video that empowers women for life. But in the meantime, be bold, be courageous and be fabulous. Thank you and bye for now.